Good morning, Sharon. Hello, Richard. Sharon, could you tell us about the book from which you took the chapter for our last discussion of Olive Branch and the author? The book yes, and the author? yes, we're very happy to do that. So the book is called The Church as Salt, uh -huh. <laughs> um, and it's by Sally Douglas. And um, I came across Sally Douglas um, through a weekly lectionary reading podcast called bythewell.com.au. I, I really recommend it. Mm. And it's um, um, run by um, people out of Pilgrim Theological College, which I understand is in Melbourne, and it looks at the lectionary readings for each week. And so I heard Sally Douglas on that and enjoyed hearing what she had to say. She's a very interesting person. She's the minister at a, a Richmond Uniting Church in Melbourne. She's also a, um, a biblical scholar and um, a lecturer at Pilgrim Theological College, and her interests are in biblical studies and um, early church history. Mm. Uh, and yes, she published this book, The Church is Salt, and uh, it's really about, well, the subtitle is Becoming the Community Jesus Speaks About. And she plays with that, um, the metaphor of the, the Jesus community being salt of the world and um, so salt of the earth. And so it's that thought about, well, what is salt? What are the properties of salt? And what might that mean in the life of the church? And so the idea of salt being something that's very small, but, um, but that can make quite a difference, can add flavour, can help to preserve, uh, mm -hmm. can bring life. Um, but um, if you have too much salt, it kind of spoils mm -hmm. the food, you know. So it's kind mm -hmm. of this interesting balance about what it means to be salt of the earth and what does that mean for the, for the church to be in that place. So she's quite strong on the, on the thing of it's not about a building. <laughs> it's right. about who we are in the places that we find ourselves and where where do we see the signs of God at work and how do we join in on that. Hmm. So each chapter explores a different um, a different image of salt. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, one is about the littleness of salt. One is about salty tears, so about lament and the All place right. of lament in the life of the church. Uh, the chapter we looked at was dark, salty wounds, which mm. looks about looks at that idea of the growth that takes place in this dark, salty, vulnerable place, and explores some of the stories in the in the biblical narrative of women who um, give birth and sort of um, not expecting to, mm -hmm. you know, older women who think they're not able to give birth anymore. Sarah and Hannah. Um, Elizabeth, but also Mary and her vulnerability as a young unmarried woman. So that mm -hmm. you know, this idea of vulnerability um, around that, what does it mean to bring things to birth um, in the communities of which we're a part? Um, and then she talks about salt that preserves and the idea of what is it that we need to preserve um, as church? What is that core message that we're needing to hold on to and um, grow our life from? And then salt is seasoning, the idea of sprinkling, what can we sprinkle that adds flavour and mm. zest to the community we're part of. Um, and she mixes them with, um, each chapter is mixed with um, stories from within the Uniting Church of either congregations or church leaders that are doing things mm -hmm. um, that weave into the narrative she's telling. Uh, but she also draws on early church writers, um, which I found really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the chapter we looked at looked at Tertullian and Marcion and mm -hmm. kind of weaves that yeah. into the image that she was talking about. So um, a really easy and enjoyable read. And at the end of each chapter has some questions. So you could do it as a group study. And it also offers some sort of contemplative reflections on the, on the chapter and the theme of each chapter as well. Um, so, you know, I really recommend it. And um, I found mm. it gave me um, food for thought. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh. um, but, yeah, I think it would be a good thing for others to, to read and reflect on as well. Mm. Oh, kia ora, Sharon. Thank you very much for that. Um, we'll put some lines on the screen, but just to catch that website, By the Well. Oh, right? yes, bythewell.com.au. So that's right. the weekly um, lectionary 
podcast. Right. Um, and the book itself um, uh, was published in Australia by Coventry Press. Right. Yeah. The Church of Salt. The Church of Salt by Sally, Sally Douglas. Douglas. Sally Douglas. That's great, Sharon. Thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Okay. See you again soon. Okay.